right, table full of seedlings that I have got to find a home for or a pot at least. Strawberries. I need to get into a planter. There's some cucumber there as well. A little cukes. So yeah, my main goal today is sweet pea. Lots and lots of sweet pea that are screaming to get out and climb. So I'll get on that. Here's honey, busy helping me with the borders. And yeah, oh look, the clematis are starting to flower. So I need to find home for two of these. No, actually three, there's another one here. There's one happily living in that pot, so I need to get the others into bigger pots. And yeah, this is where I have the tulip, the daffodils and tulips at the moment dying back. I just need to put a bit of compost in there so they have some nutrients. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm trying. <laughs> So in this border, we've added mushroom compost and soil improver to help with the clay soil. I'm hoping this will be enough to um, just help the plants along. And in the autumn, I'm planning to add a few more bags of soil improver and um, maybe some farmyard manure. I'm also hoping to, or planning on um, 
adding a nice thick layer of mulch uh, just to help to keep the tulip bulbs that I left in um, to keep them protected from frost. So with all of this, I'm hoping by next summer this bed and all of the borders really, they should be pretty healthy. Um, I did add some fertilizer as well. I can't remember the name of that uh, fertilizer. If I can find the information, I will add it to the video. So how many sweet peas did I grow? How many seedlings? I actually have lost count. Um, yes, and as I said before, um, I went a little bit overboard and I will do much less um, in January. But honestly, I can't say I regret too much because um, they've, they've, they were so easy. They were so easy to germinate. And um, honestly, it was more just a case of space um, because there are many other things that I needed um, the space to plant uh, like my sunflowers. Originally, this corner was meant for my sunflowers, but that's been on hold. I up-potted them and I found another border. Um, and actually, I had a thought while I was um, uh, editing that I could plant the sunflowers in between the sweet pea. And when I pull the sweet pea, the sunflowers will have um, settled in. So I'm hoping to do that this week. Or it just may be time to clear the sweet pea out of that border. So if you're interested in growing sweet pea, um, you can start them in the autumn and you have an earlier flowering um, pea, or you can um, do two sets, uh, one in the autumn and one in January, um, in the winter. I, um, I sowed mine in January. Uh, it was my first time um, sowing, um, winter sowing. So it was something I came across um, following other gardeners. And so I thought, oh, wow, that'd be exciting <laughs> to actually grow your own plants. Um, usually I would um, mostly get them in the garden center. But uh, last year, I think I did grow a few things like Cosmos and... Uh, what was the other thing? Um, foxgloves and um, cornflower. I think those were the three, but I didn't know about winter sowing. So that was the first for me. And I just went crazy. <laughs> I had so many. I still have seedlings that need a home. So yeah, if you're into um, growing from seed, I believe there are lots you can start in the autumn and um, in the winter. So uh, I will, um, this next winter, I will try and record my journey. I think I have some footage of it, but I did not record everything properly. So yeah, this time around, I have all the, the racks and the lights and everything, I'm, I am prepared. <laughs> I am prepared for next winter sewing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But first, let's just get through summer. Isn't it lovely how the sun came out? We started this video in the cold and gray 
and I mean I actually had to go and change my um, nice knitted hat for a cap <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching um, we're coming towards the end of this video again my name is Debbie and I love gardening and I hope you will join us on our journey in our new garden and our new home and please consider subscribing if you find this in any way inspirational informative or entertaining even um, yeah thank you and until next time Very busy out here. Very busy. Lots to do out here. So I better get to it.